Yeah, so as I was saying, even now it's a good piece of quality equipment, but unfortunately I hit my 10 minute time limit on the uh, on the phone that I'm using. Even though I've got lots of different cameras, I'm using the phone. So yeah, I wanted to get to this. This is where the, the body, when it's assembled, this, this is obviously a part. Um, you know, you, you could buy this and never ever have to take it apart like this. Um, so it, it's not a normal thing to do really. Uh, this is an extra part. A special part that I got uh, it's an electrolytic set of capacitors it's a little bank there and all it does is it's actually recording right now okay let me try to uh, do this here as well as I can all right so there's your input um, for the power and the way it's set up now okay the point of this super capacitor which they call it that it's just a capacitor bank uh, okay, like I was saying before, it provides a power. It provides power for a short amount of time, a a quick burst of power. Really, uh, it drains rather quickly. Unlike uh, the, uh, it has a, a fast discharge. Capacitors in general can discharge extremely quickly, so they're powerful in that sense. But uh, you know, a lithium, like a lithium ion battery, like this one. This is the same type of chemical chemistry uh, that uh, your, you know your average quadcopter or uh, drone electric drone would use it's basically just a, a, a pack of chemicals you know toxic chemicals that um, you know environmentally friendly you know solar type energy and things like that are, are using this kind of stuff you know uh, as well as mercury in the um, solar panels and so on uh, okay so yeah here it is it's got the specs on it which I love to see uh, where you would buy a replacement one, I guess you would just have to contact these guys who made this, which is great. They've got great support, let me tell you. They they have up-to-date software. Uh, they don't mess around. They really support their product. Uh, they have several variants of, of their little camera here, but as far as I'm aware, this is like the one product they make. There's like three different versions, and that's it. They come out with a new one every so often. Uh, one of them is a specialty type of a thing. Uh, I forget what it is. It is probably like a, um, uh, not, a, not a, more like a spy cam. I think there's one that's actually, you know, molded into the shape where, where the, 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 the body, the case is actually like a, a key fob for a remote, like a remote for a car, you know, like the, uh, the unlocker, uh, the, uh, the RF, you know, the RF transmitter for the, um, for the vehicle to unlock it. Okay, so this is the dash mount. And, you know, okay, it's a little dirty. But it's really good. It's really strong. Uh, oh, crap. It just went upside down. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, so this attaches to... It's a standard type of uh, amount for a tripod. In other words, it is the same thread. And then this nut here is a ball joint. And you can adjust it any way you want. It's really quite a good design it is very impressive i mean the value and the quality is just it blew me away that you know that i got this thing shipped from well from a new york office but i mean it's really just it's a manufactured in china product okay so once you loosen that you see the ball joint and in this here you can literally position it any way you want see there's the ball joint itself moving and then also you can uh you can lock that down really good, and best of all is that this suction cup is no joke. It's got a very strong pull on it. Watch this. That absolutely, it it just absolutely smashes it right onto your window. And as long as your your glass is real glass and it's not made of like a sponge or paper or something, it it'll stick and it will not come off. That is is very excellent device here. Okay, so you'll have it on your um. You can really position it any way you like. Uh, it it does have a a particular, yeah. I mean, it has a particular way of of uh, sticking out like that. But because of the ball joint, you really can do whatever you want with it. It's it's really pretty good. And like like I was demonstrating before, that's where it uh, attaches into. And Okay, so you would have this attached right like this in here. This is so hard to do it. This is why I have, like my glasses camera. Okay, so what happened here?
Oh, it just did this thing here. Yeah, so it goes up on the window, and uh, let me see here. How did I how did I usually do it? Um, I think yeah, I think I had it upside down because the suction cup has to mount you know up like that. And yeah, and oh yeah, by the way, you can also loosen the uh, the ball joint a little bit by yourself, you know, you can do that. Uh, the, there's two threads here, as you can see, that is the one that locks it down into the uh, the housing, or, or the, uh, the casing here. And then this one, the plastic one, that is what actually tightens the actual ball joint itself. You can see right here, see, it's, it's a real ball joint, it's... It's plastic, but it is definitely a real one. I mean, if you take it all the way out, you know, you can see. It's actually a real ball joint, and it is very strong. Uh, you can see right there how, you know, it's just very good quality. Very good quality. I mean, I've never had any problem with it. It's incredibly strong, and believe me, if it's lasted me this long it is very very good yeah and it's got the uh, that suction it's got three features in, in one it's, just, it's not just a, a another cheap piece of like Chinese molded plastic like a lot of stuff is so okay so this is just the top or the back I guess okay it's held together by two screws two very little screws okay um, yeah and the back part just has two little clips that just attach there now that's an adhesive uh, when you buy it it comes with the battery and uh, and not the capacitor what's really great about uh, the capacitor though is that is that um, uh, okay so the battery means that you can carry it around with you and use it and and it, the battery will allow you to use it for a good like one to two hours I think like 90 minutes which is very impressive, very impressive for uh, for what it is. I mean, for such a small thing, a small camera. Uh, okay, I mean, it's, it's, that means it's not going to be plugged into any wire. It's going to be doing all these things that I'm demonstrating right now. Uh, the heat sinks, yes, they get hot, but that battery is really powerful. It is, it's got, it packs a punch. All right, now here, here's here's the other stuff. Okay, in addition to the other options. Okay, it comes with a little hex wrench or a hex key, uh, and I don't know if you can see this, but right there is a uh, is a threaded hex. Um, here it is. See, it's on the um, that locks the uh, lens onto the uh, the CCD, uh, you know, receiving the receiver, and that lens there it, it actually it rotates on the thread to focus and the directions are if you are going to do this kind of custom stuff uh, you know first of all you don't need to do this at all you don't need to focus it at all that is only for custom uh, applications such as uh, a macro camera because it's so small and also you can buy on eBay uh, uh, little units here that are much longer wires um, there's uh, a lot of, you know, t custom mods that allow you to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just the cable itself or if the whole, um, the whole CCD device itself has to be replaced. It's, it's hard to tell. I, I mean, okay, well, there's screws over there, so maybe you can actually, I don't, I, I don't want to mess with it because I just don't know. I would rather just read, read about it instead of, uh. Okay, so let's see. We got two uh, two mounts there. It looks like. I mean, they're not used in this. <clears throat> they're not used in this configuration, but uh, as you can see, this is like a, an off-the-shelf part that Moby is, uh, I guess, acquired, or maybe they manufactured it. I'm not sure. But at any rate, there are other applications because you can see here these uh, screws. All right, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Those screws actually are are there, and they hold it. Uh, oh wow, they hold the back on that. You see what I mean? That that's that's impressive. This is actually really good quality. I mean, look at how well it's machined and and put together.